Hello and welcome to another vlog and video of the Cruise Vibes and today it's day 3 on board of the Excellence Princess and we are going from Regensburg in the direction of Passau. Our actual next destination after Regensburg will be Vienna, so we'll have a lot of time on board in this and the next video. But we are starting early in the morning in Regensburg after breakfast. It was time to leave the ship for a nice morning excursion. I didn't book an excursion, I did it on my own and just plan to have a walk through Regensburg. First it was time to admire the beauty of this wonderful ship and then I walked past some other ships in the direction of the city center. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes in Regensburg as the docking location is quite centrally located. There are a lot of river cruise ships but also a lot of excursion boats for short cruises of one or two hours as you can see here. And I decided to not go into the city center directly. Instead I went to a viewpoint on the other side of the river. So first of course I have to cross the river. I'm not using the famous stone bridge, Steinerne Brücke. I'm using a different bridge. It's called the Eiserne Brücke, so Iron Bridge. And the Krisa Kowalski Steg to get to a small island which is also inhabited. On this island you will find a church, St. Mang, and behind that is another bridge of another arm of the Danube. And then you can go up the so-called Osterbergweg to reach the Dreifaltigkeitskirche. And from this church you have a fantastic view over the old town of Regensburg. You will have it here on your left as you can see here. It's quite a fantastic view. I think it's worth the hike up. It's not too high. It's a quite easy hike. Bit of sport but that's quite healthy of course, especially if you're on a cruise with good food. So I can recommend doing this and from there you can take the Spitalkellerweg back down to the Danube. Cross the bridge again above the lock and then you can go to Stadt Amhof. It's a small square or street that you can see here with these colorful houses on the island. And if you follow the street, you will reach the stone bridge. And there's another island called the Jan Island. And from this island, you have this fantastic view of the city. So you just have to go down to the Danube. There's a street called Ambeschlecht, which is right next to the Danube. And from there you have this fantastic view of the city center of Regensburg. Then you have to go all the way back to the bridge to cross the bridge and then you will reach the city center. So here we can see the famous bridge of Regensburg. And on the other end of the bridge, you're directly in the wonderful city center. Regensburg is a very beautiful city with these typical Bavarian colorful houses. A lot of shopping opportunities, but also a lot of historic buildings to see, a lot of museums, several churches. So whatever you're into, you will find a lot of interesting things to do here. And here we get some impressions of the city. Here we can see a ship, the Rossini. I made a video about this but it was a long time before I started making English videos and we will see the ship later on. Here we can see the interior of the Cathedral of Regensburg and what you should do for sure is to visit the Historische Wurstkuchel. There you can get some traditional sausages. It's one of the oldest places of its kind and you should get them originally with sauerkraut and mustard. Even though if you don't like mustard or sauerkraut, you should try those ones in the original way. And then it was time to head back to the ship. And soon after I arrived there, it was already time to leave Regensburg, heading to Vienna. So now we will spend more than 24 hours on the ship. But today it's just half of a sea day or river day. So we will spend some time at sea. Here we are sailing past the famous Valhalla monument. And here we can see the Rossini, the ship that I was talking about earlier on. It is a very interesting river cruise ship, former part of the famous Dielmann company, but nowadays it is only used as a refugee accommodation, so there's no chance to get on board of this interesting ship. But I made a ship tour a few years ago. It's in German, but if you want to see how the ship looks from the inside, just search for MS Rossini and you will find my video. Here we are in one of the locks that we are going through on our way to Vienna. 
it's a log of Geisling and I have to say that this part of the Danube is probably the least spectacular. So there's not too much to see but it's not boring because there are a lot of things you can do. You can read the book, you can edit some pictures, work on your laptop if you like working but also of course you can just relax, lay in the sun, enjoy the scenery even though it's not that spectacular it's still always something to see. For example here we are passing the city of Straubing also a very beautiful city worth a visit but with the ship we're going past it quite far away. There's also a docking location in Straubing which is closer to the city center but it is in an arm of the Danube so we will not get closer to the city center. You can also watch other ships even though there is not that much traffic on the Danube especially on this part of the Danube. Below Passau there is more traffic but also mainly cruise ships there is much less freight traffic on the Danube than on the Rhine for example but still every now and then you will see some interesting ships and in general I can promise it will not be boring to travel half a day on the Danube even on this part of the Danube. Tomorrow we will spend almost a full day on the ship we will just arrive in Vienna in the evening but I will tell you a bit more about how I felt about this in the next video. On this day it was very very nice and relaxing and I really enjoyed the time on the ship as there was plenty of things to do for me. I was editing my videos, of course trying to get a shot of all the interesting sights. For example here we are passing the very low railway bridge of the city of Bogen. It's much higher than on the Main Danube Canal but still a quite low bridge. And then we are passing the city of Bogen with a monastery on the hill. There's also a video where I was on that hill and where you can see the view from up there but it's also a very old video and it's only available in German. And then we are sailing further downstream. Next interesting thing to see will be the city of Deggendorf. Another interesting city also a destination for some river cruises but we are going past all of these destinations to get as fast as possible to Vienna. There's always something to see, for example here we can see the Bayerische Wald Bavarian Forest with heavy rainfall in the distance. There are always some buildings like castles, churches or you get to see some interesting clouds like this one that reminded me of the Dementors of Harry Potter. And here we are approaching Degendorf, sailing past this interesting city. Unfortunately there are mainly industrial buildings right at the Danube so there's not too much to see from the city center itself and soon after passing Degendorf it was already time to head into the restaurant for the dinner. Of course this is always the highlight of the day, dinner on board of an excellence a river cruise ship as the food quality is very very high and of course dinner is always the highlight so I was really looking forward to it and as you can see here it's looking fantastic and I can tell you also the taste was amazing as always. So of course uh, food on board of an excellent ship is always the highlight of the day. Also today it was amazing again. And then late in the evening we were approaching the city of Passau which is also the final destination of this cruise. We will now go to Vienna and turn around there and then go back to Passau where we will end after one week. And we were a bit of unlucky in this case because usually there are a lot of lights in Passau. But just one minute before sailing past the city center of Passau they turned off all those lights. Which of course happens to save some energy, so most parts of Germany the illuminations will be turned off at some point in the night. So now we do not get the full view of Passau, which is of course even more beautiful, but we still can see a few things. There are still a few lights of course turned on. We can see the church St. Paul and the 
cathedral. In the background, so the church we can see a bit better, is St. Paul, and in the background we will soon have a quite okay view of the cathedral. Of course, it would be better if it would be illuminated. And on the left side we can see the Feste Oberhaus castle on the hill. Unfortunately, also not illuminated anymore. But still, it was a very beautiful site as Passau is an extremely beautiful city and absolutely worth a visit. So if you're doing a cruise on the Danube and it's starting or ending in Passau, I would recommend taking an extra day to also discover Passau. Because usually first day or last day you will not see much of the city, but Passau is absolutely worth a visit. So I think you can already see from here that it's quite a beautiful city even though it's already dark outside and there's not too much to see but I promise you it will be worth visiting. We are now passing under the Prinzregent Luitpold Bridge which means we've already passed the main part of the historic old town of Passau and Passau is also famous for having three rivers joining together. Here on the left side we have the mouth of the river Ilz and on the other side we have the mouth of the river Inn. And all those three rivers, Danube, Inn and Ilz, have different colors. So during the day it's quite an impressive sight because you can see those three colors mixing up together to the new color of the Danube. But in the night of course you won't see it. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Here you can see when the next video will be uploaded and the name of the song. As always I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to comment, like or share the video link. And if you want to see more cruise videos like this one make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video then.